Hello everybody happy to have you all in the third session of a lesson the best christmas present in the world so far we have learned about the struggling of arthur to open a secret drawer where he found a letter of jim macpherson to his wife connie macpherson here in the third session we are going to read a letter let us read dearest connie i write to you in a much happier frame of mind because something wonderful has just happened that i must tell you about at once we were on standing to in our trenches yesterday morning christmas morning trenches is a place is a long deep ditches in the ground where soldiers hide from their enemies it was crisp and quite all about as beautiful morning as i have ever seen as cold and frosty as a christmas morning should be here the author here jim macpherson was describing a scenario of a christmas eve in which month christmas falls on december right then what would be the climatic condition of december month it was quite cold and frosty i should like to be able to tell you that we began it they started a war but the truth i am ashamed to say is that fritz began it this time fritz started with a white flag waving from the trenches opposite then they were calling out to us from across the no man's land happy christmas tommy happy christmas tommy is a common english name used here to refer a british soldiers and fritz is a name for a german soldier commonly they used to call german soldier as fritz first fritz felicitated their christmas wishes to tommy as happy christmas we shouted at back same to you fritz same to you i thought that would be that we all did but then suddenly one of them was up there in his gray great coat and waving a white flag don't shout lads lads young men young men they call them as lads young men someone shouted and no one did then there was another fritz up on the parapet parapet is a wall where we can hold to move further on the staircases or some way and another keep your heads down i told them it's a trick but it was not i was thinking that this was a trick of a fritz we should not be deceived but actually it was not one of the germans was waving a bottle above his head it's a christmas day tommy we have snaps we have sausage we meet you is snaps a german drink made from a grain and they had a snaps as well the sausage and they were inviting a tommy for a party for a christmas party by this time there were dozens of them walking towards us across no man's land and not a rifle between them there were no rifles between them instead they had snaps and sausage to enjoy a christmas morning little private morris was the first up come on boys what are we waiting for and then there was no stopping them i was the officer i should have stopped them there and then i suppose but the truth is that never even occurred never even occurred i should all along their line and us i could see them walking slowly towards one another gray coats shaki coats meeting in the middle and i was one of them both the gray coats and as well the shaki coats here it was describing about uh, the german soldier and as well the english soldiers and was one of them and i was one of them here jim macpherson was one of them i was part of this in the middle of the war we were making peace you cannot imagine dear scony my feeling as look into the eyes of fritz officer who approached me hands stretched hands wolf here there was a german officer who was approaching jim macpherson the officer of english stretched his hand to introduce by himself as hans wolf he said gripping my hand warmly and holding it i am from dusseldorf i play the cello in the orchestra happy christmas he was playing an orchestra before become a soldier captain jim macpherson i replied here is a turn of jim macpherson to introduce by himself to a german officer hans of i replied and hans christmas to you too 
I am a school teacher from Dorsal in the west of England. Jim Macpherson was a school teacher before he became a soldier. Oh, Dorset, he smiled. I know this place. I know very well we share my rum ration and his excellent sausage. And we walked. Coney, how, how we talked. He spoke almost perfect English. But it turned out that he had never set foot in Dorset. Dorset was a place which was familiarly known for uh, language, education. But it seemed that he never set foot on Dorset, but he spoke an excellent language. Never even, ever, even been to England, England. He had learned all he knew of England from schooling and from reading books in English. This Jim McBurson came to know with their, by their conversation, his favourite writer was Thomas Hardy, his favourite book for Far From an Madding Crowd. So out there in no man's land, we talk of Bathsheba and Gabriel Oak and Sergeant Roy and Dorset. They both were speaking about many things, the favourite writers of them and the favourite books and the favourite place of Dorset. He had a wife and one son. Born just six months ago, as I looked about me, there were huddles of cage and grey everywhere, all over no man's land, smoking, laughing, talking, drinking, eating, hands wolf, and I shared that, was shared what was left of our wonderful Christmas cake, Coney. He thought the marriage was the best he ever tasted. I agree. We agreed about everything, though he was my enemy. There never was a Christmas party like it, Coney. You imagine how the Christmas morning would be for Jim McBurson celebrating and enjoying a Christmas in a warfare with his foe, with his enemy, sharing all about him. Then someone, I don't know who, brought a football, great coats were dumped in piles to make goalpost and the next thing we know it was Tommy against Frizz out in the middle of no man's land. Now the match begins, the football match between the Tommy and Fritz. Hans Wolf and I looked on and cheered clapping our hands and stamping our foot to keep out the cold as, as much anything. There was a moment when I noticed breaths mingling in the air between us. What an excellent description. The breath of Tommy and as well the Freeds, which means the leaders, who represents both English and Germans, breath was mingling in the air between them. He saw and smiled. Jim McBurson, he said after a while, I think this is how we should resolve this war. A football match. It looks crazy, but you imagine children. No soldier like to be in a war. No soldier like to be like to shed their blood. No soldier like to continue the enmity between others. Everyone wants to resolve the war. Everyone expect the peace. Here, Jim McBurson was thinking this is how we resolve the war through matches. No one dies in a football match. No children often. No wives become widows. I would prefer cricket, I told him. Then, the Tommy could be sure of winning probably. We loved it and together we watched the game. Sad to say, Coney, Fritz won. But here in the match, Fritz won. Fritz represents German soldiers. Two goals to one. But as Hans Wolf generally said, our goal was wider than others, wider than theirs, so it was not quite fair. The time came, it shows the generosity of an officer. The time, this, the time came and all too soon, when the game was finished, the snaps and drum and the sausage had long since run out. And we know it was all over. I wished hands well and I told him I hope he would see his family again soon. 
that the fighting would end and we could all go home this what the expectation and wish of each and every soldier i think that is what every soldier wants on both sides hans wolf said take a jimmy person i shall ever forget this moment now you he saluted and walked away from me slowly unwillingly i felt he turned to wave just once and then become one of the hundreds of gray coated men drifting back towards their trenches they all went back they all returned back to their trenches that night back in our dugouts dugouts a shelter for soldiers made by digging a hole in the ground and covering it to hide them we heard them singing a carol and singing it quite beautifully it was trial night silent night a voice gave them a rousing chorus of while shepherds watched they started singing a christmas choral they both from their dugouts silent night we exchanged carols for a while and then we all fell silent we had had our time of peace and goodwill a time i will treasure as long as i live jim mcberson was considering this as a treasure moment as a treasure of his life the best moment of his life dearest coney by christmas time next year this war will be nothing but a distant and terrible memory i know from all that happened today how much both armies long for peace they were longing for peace both the german and as well the english we shall be together again soon i am sure of it this was he concluded a letter your loving jim mcberson dear children i hope that you could understand that what he was written on the letter to his wife coney mcberson and what he was about to say what was the hidden meaning of it the letter was completely speaking about the scenario of an event which was taken place unexpected event which was taken place on the christmas morning between both the fritz and tommy fritz which represents the german soldier and the tommy which represents the english soldier it was completely speaking about what exactly the soldier expects whether the war or peace after reading this the entire paragraph you try your best to answer the comprehension check which was below who had written the letter to whom and when why was the letter written what was the wonderful that had happened thing that had happened what jobs did hands off and jim mcberson have had they were not soldiers what they were before both the both hands of the german officer and as well jim mcberson the english officer before they become a soldier had ansolf ever been to dorset whether he had never been to dorset i have told you already this is a place which was familiarly known for education why did he say he knew do you think jim mcberson came back from the war do you know this what do you know about this uh, here is a question for you to think and answer what are you thinking whether jim mcberson has come back to the war if it is not why and you try your best to frame at least 10 questions with answers i'll see you in the next session thank you bye bye